Hello everybody, welcome to Sermon on the Go. Today is the final part of our series on the 23rd chapter of the book of Psalms. And so it is fitting that I read the whole of Psalm 23 and conclude with the last verse. Then we can say a few things about that. Psalm 23, reading from verses 1. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemy. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. In the last five weeks, we have been on the journey with the psalmist, David, the king of Israel, in what is the culmination of a well-known psalm. David says, Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life, and you will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. We are to rejoice in the inheritance of heaven. God uses difficulties in our lives as a fire to refine, purify, and strengthen our faith. It certainly has been the case in the last 12 months. As a result of the pandemic, as a result of the coronavirus, many people have sought to seek God. Many people have turned to the church. Many people have turned to the internet seeking for prayers, seeking for hope, seeking for strength, seeking for encouragement. The use of goodness and mercy to describe God's loyal love for his people intensifies the meaning of the two words. What is described as goodness and mercy is God's overabundant mercy and love that is in no way deserved. The Hebrew verb to follow describes a sheep in pursuit. When the Lord is our shepherd, instead of being stalked by wild beasts, we are pursued by the loving care of our Lord. And you will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. What does it mean then to dwell in the house of the Lord? Well, it means that we are rational beings if we were mere intellectual beings and nothing more, then we might dwell here on earth. But we are not mere intellectual beings. We are moral and spiritual beings. And therefore we cannot dwell here on earth, but dwell in the house of the Lord forever. For David, dwelling in the house of the Lord forever was imperative in his life. David was the person that prepared the way, made all the materials available for the temple of Jerusalem to be built by his son Solomon. David knew what it meant to be in the presence of God. David knew what it meant to dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Friends, as we conclude the series on the 23rd chapter of the book of Psalms, my question to you is this. On the list of your priorities, on the scale of 1 to 10, where is God on that list? Have you made God your shepherd? Have you made God the shepherd of your life? Because you see, as sheep cannot look after themselves, but needs a shepherd, so you and I, need God in our life as our shepherd. Everything you need to get through this life 
will be provided for you by your shepherd because God is the creator of all things. All things belongs to God. The very air that you are breathing belongs to God. So if God is your shepherd, if God is the shepherd of your life, he will make sure that everything you need to survive in this chaotic world is provided for you. If you haven't made God your shepherd, if you haven't surrendered your life to Christ, if you haven't given your life to Jesus, may I encourage you to do so by saying these words after me. I declare with my mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord. And I believe in my heart that he was raised from the dead and he is seated at the right hand of God the Father. Friends, if you have just said that, that is Romans 10 verses 9. You are now a new creature. All things have passed away. Behold, everything has become new. Look for a church in your locality and start going to church. Introduce yourself to the local clergy and they will help you do the rest. They will help you get closer to God. They will help you get closer to Jesus. If you are in the locality of Eastwood and South End, of course, you're welcome to St. Lawrence and All Saints. You can't do that now because we are in lockdown. But tune in and join us online, on Facebook and on YouTube as we journey together as children of the Almighty God. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the journey we've had with Psalm 23. We thank you for reminding us that you are our shepherd. We thank you that you continue to lead us in paths of righteousness. We thank you that you continue to bless us. And so, Father, we pray that as we conclude this series, you continue to be with us, you continue to journey with us, you continue to protect us and provide for us. I bring before you everyone who is watching that your blessing may be upon them. May your spirit rest upon them and your power overshadow them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Friends, I will see you on Thursday. Shalom. Peace. <laughs>